And while it's really bad here, it is an emergency in central Texas. You're looking at video of a bridge literally washing away. And look, we're not talking about a little rickety bridge here, but a strong concrete one. Lano County officials just gave us an update. 105 people evacuated today and the Lano River is going down, but not for long. Even though the water is going down in some areas, um, it will go back up. So we ask that people please do not attempt to go back to homes if you've evacuated them. So this is in the Lano River area, which is about an hour northwest of Austin. Our Bradley Blackburn is there in Kingsland. He joins us live now. Bradley, boy, what a mess. And these people are used to flooding. Here it is yet again. They are, you know, and we're exactly in the kind of area that those authorities are concerned about. You can see how high the water still is, but it has dropped in the last hour. It's come down several feet. Uh, the car that you can see over my shoulder there, that water was up to the windshield a while back. It's gone down, but this water could come back up in this neighborhood, and it has been on the street where I'm standing right now. It's flooded houses. You can see how high it was on this house here all the way up, uh, halfway up the front door. Uh, so this is what people are dealing with, water inundating their homes, moving property all over the place. They've been doing evacuations all day here, trying to get people people to safety. Uh, like you said, hundreds of evacuations, moving people to a community center not far from here, trying to get them away from all this. Now, we are in Kingsland, and that is a town that is surrounded by water. It's where the Lano River and the Colorado River meet, and the bridge that has been swept away is a key connector for this community. It literally connects the city, and now they have lost a major road. In fact, I spoke to one guy who uh, is on one side of the water today. His wife and three sons are on the other, and he has no way to get to them. I mean, uh, emotionally, physically, I want to be there with her and those kids. I know she's probably going crazy right now, trying to keep them under control and calm. Uh, but knowing the strong woman she is, I know she's doing probably pretty much okay. So, but uh, I mean, I, I would just love to be over there right now with them and to help her with them. <laughs> Literally a community that has been cut in two now. Complicating matters is the fact that communications are a struggle here. We don't have service on several of our cell phones. That's true for a lot of families. They can barely get text messages through. And again, you can just see the power of what this water is doing in this community. On this street, look at all the debris. The water brought up jet skis, a boat, leaving it right here on the road. It's just put debris everywhere, not to mention inundating houses. I mean, this is an area that loves fishing, loves boating, loves the water, but not like this. And they are preparing for more guys. Bradley, our thanks to you, you and your photographer, please be safe out there.